Hi, this is Brent Ramsey, Technical Advisor for Canon USA, and I'm back again to give you a quick tour of the C300 Mark II's improved ergonomic functions. The camera system looks basically the same. The C300 Mark II is still compact. It's lightweight, but a little heavier, about a pound and a half more than the C300 when it's built out like this. But it feels beefier. It's slightly taller, wider, deeper, but not by much. Let's take a look at the front of the camera. First of all, the EOC 300 Mark II offers your choice of EF, EF lock, or a PL mount. And for the first time, you'll have the option of changing the mount, not the camera. There's been a redesign in the front end structure. And this is part of the strategy of allowing for different lens mounts. So now, the entire imaging system deflects the shock of a bounce. It's like a floating structure, and it keeps the lens and the sensor aligned. The entire body is rugged overall, I mean you can feel it. And now it's constructed of die cast components. And that helps dissipate the heat and it keeps the camera cooler. But it also adds strength and rigidity. It's a bit heavier, but the center of gravity is still firmly in the center of the camera. And it offers dust proof and drip proof design. Also, there's a redesign of the motorized and built-in ND filter system that offers the original 0, 2, 4, and 6 stops and an added expansion mode that can take it to 8 and 10 stops of ND. Any of the buttons with a number can be assigned another function. And everyone asks for more. So now there are 22 assignable buttons in all. And they can be programmed for about 50 functions each. There's a couple of new buttons on the front of the camera. And this is mainly to help one person operation. There's push auto iris and one push AF. And the SD card slot is there too. The SD card is used for loading or saving camera settings, firmware updates, and now for recording the XF AVC proxy file. Check this out. There's a built-in microphone in the camera body now. So it'll give you a mono scratch track or allow for voice memos. Looking at the camera left side, you'll instantly notice the bright red record button is better located. And check out this large air intake. The fan comes on when you turn the camera on, but as soon as you start rolling, it stays super quiet. The buttons, overall, are extremely quiet too. These forward buttons are the same as the C300, but they're slightly recessed now to prevent accidental triggering. These are new. We've added buttons that allow for quick access to important functions. ISO gain, shutter, and slow and fast frame rate. And down here, the headphone volume control is gone. White balance controls are in its place. The control and select dials are still in the same place, but this new button's been added. And what this does is it illuminates the important buttons for an easy read in the dark. Looking at the back, it looks pretty much the same, except now there are dual CFAST card slots and a brand new 12 volt battery. The EVF tilts and ACs are going to love the look around feature it offers. The magnification, there's two times, four times, and eight times. And you access it by punching one of the joysticks. You can even move the magnification box around. And the contrast response and color reproduction is greatly improved. Moving around to the right side, to the inputs and the outputs, they look pretty similar but there are some improved and some are reworked. Namely, these proprietary cables are now one for audio and one for video, but more on those in a minute. There's a new monitor terminal and a rec out terminal, and they're both 3G SDI. The monitor terminal offers onset viewing features, but it serves as this additional or second 3G SDI for 2K or 4K raw recording when needed. And here's a big one. It's now got a four pin LIMO DCN connection. You can attach a Wi-Fi, hook up a GPS, or a remote control. The grip unit looks pretty much the same, and it's interchangeable with the C100, the C300, and the C500 series. However, the functionality has been improved, especially with what the joystick can do. The handle has been completely reworked, and it comes in two parts. The bracket stands alone. It's basically a cheese plate that attaches with hex bolts. It offers multiple quarter 20 contacts, a 3 8 attachment, and three cold shoe mounts. The monitor unit, well, it looks pretty much the same too, but it's been much improved, and it has new backlight technology. It's almost twice as bright. It's now an organic ELCVF. 
It's got high color rendition LEDs, and you'll get a much better color performance from this new version. But that's nothing to what you'll see when you turn it on. Perimeter displays. Here's a big one. These cables, they're now detachable. And they come in two links, which can be really useful for rigging. One is now for audio, one's for video. So you always essentially have a backup. Well, that's been a quick look at the new EOC 300 Mark II. I'm Brent Ramsey. Thanks for watching.